Hello. Okay. Babylon, directed by Damien Chazelle, I think that's how you pronounce his surname. He also directed the movies La La Land and First Man. Not seen First Man, I really want to, but I did actually really enjoy La La Land. And it's a movie that I didn't expect to like, and I ended up really enjoying it. So we've got Babylon. Its plot chronicles the rise and fall of multiple characters during Hollywood's transition from silent to sound films in the late 1920s. So Babylon's been out in America, I believe since the 15th of December, and obviously so a lot of the reviews have come out, they've been online. Some people really like it, um, some people really don't like it. This film looks beautiful. Um, the cinematography is one of my favorite aspects of this movie. I adored the cinematography and the lighting. Um, it really sort of elevates this edginess and seediness that they are going for with with the movie with the story that it's trying to tell and to really sort of recapture that era of hollywood they did such a great job but bringing that to life with the cinematography and the lighting you know there are moments in this movie this is one moment in the third act and all i'm going to say is they're in this sort of underground dingy club at the arsehole of la and do you know what you feel dirty just being in this moment, experiencing this scene on the screen. I felt uncomfortable. I felt dirty. And that, all of that is achieved through the set design, the lighting, the, the, the cinematography. So yeah, they did a really good job at really just immersing you into this world. Performances. Um, the performances all around are fantastic. Very real. Um, they pull off the humour. The humour in this movie as well, I really like. It's a kind of dark humour. It's also very silly humour as well. But for me, it worked. There is this one scene. Some might find it repetitive or just a little bit too silly and goes on. But I fucking loved it. And it's this one moment where they first use in sound, basically, in film. And... Dude, you know, it's, it's, it's like anything when, you, when you've got a new technology, it's very temperamental. But this scene goes on for about five, maybe ten minutes. And it is so damn funny because something always goes wrong. Someone might walk through the door as they've got to start again. And just the way this scene played out, I was laughing all the way through it. I absolutely loved this moment. But going back to the performances, Margot Robbie is fantastic in this she's one of the standouts for me a very real performance a tragic performance and you believe in her you believe in her story and she's just on the screen she is so mesmerizing when she is on the screen the, the first act is mainly built up of this sort of mad chaotic um sort of club scene and she just does this dance and the camera just follows her through this dance and just the way they use the camera and just the way she performs this dance and she's lifted up into the into the air and she is so mesmerizing to watch in the movie and i just love how they did that yeah she was absolutely great same for brad pitt brad pitt is really really good in this film again you know a tragic character and you buy into him and his journey and just so real. All, all the performances in this movie felt real. And another standout for me is Diego Calva, uh, who plays Manny. And you, you're introduced to him straight off as the film starts. And again, a very real performance. Um, and a performance that you can really sort of just relate to and connect to. Uh, yeah, really, really good performance from Diego Calva. I think that's how you pronounce his surname. And Tobey Maguire in this movie. Um, he's not in it an awful lot, but he plays this really sleazy, creepy guy. Um, and you know what? I didn't realise how good a job Tobey Maguire could do at playing a character like he plays in this. He is slimy, sleazy, and he just makes you uncomfortable when you're watching him on the screen. Fantastic performance by M Toby Maguire as well. Really dug the score as well by a Justin Hurwitz. I think that's how you pronounce his surname. I'm terrible at pronouncing names, by the way. Um, but again, yeah, I really dug the score. It really brought this world and this era of Hollywood alive. 
and at times it's quite thunderous and epic especially that moment that I was just referencing with Margot Robbie that club scene where she does this mad chaotic dance um yeah I loved it and I really just loved all the filmmaking aspects of this movie you know in terms of the, the performances the lighting the cinematography the set pieces um it all just looked fantastic and it helped just immerse you into this story and into this era of Hollywood which I was really just sort of interested in seeing and I think they did a really good job at capturing it and yeah this is a very excessive messy movie um, especially with the story and how the narrative is told I do think I do fancy for me that was just a little bit messy but just the overall film and kind of with what the story, with what they're trying to say with the story and tell with the story, you know, sort of that era of Hollywood, which is what it was. It was very self-indulgent, um, overindulgent and excessive. And I just think he did a good job in just capturing that. So, yeah, I mean, I think, yeah, I, I enjoyed it because of that. And I, because as a result, I just, I felt like that I was experiencing this time in Hollywood as a result. And what I really enjoy about these movies sometimes is when you just find yourself kind of connecting and resonating with a certain character and their story. So it's like, I just found that happening quite a lot in this movie. And due to the performances being so real, I was just, you know, I got really immersed into this story. And yeah, I just really just dug the overall experience. Um, it was sad, it was tragic, but it was also funny, mad, bonkers, and it was just a good time, and I, I really, really enjoyed it. And is the film too long? For me, personally, a lot of people have said that it is, but I just think the runtime was right. It, It's a long film, but I felt like the runtime just worked for what we were seeing. Um, perhaps you could, yeah, you may have cook, uh, sort of made it shorter, but for me, it just worked. So, yeah, a really enjoyable experience for me. Um, I do recommend it. Uh, it's not a perfect movie by any means, but it is a very entertaining, immersive experience. The humour doesn't always work, and yeah, maybe the screen screenplay is a little bit weak. Um, and, you know, sort of how the narrative plays out is just a little bit messy. But overall, this is a very immersive experience with what I felt was a lot of love behind the camera. And just, you could just, the performances were fantastic. Yeah, I mean, Babylon is an experience. I really liked it. And I will be giving Babylon an 8 out of 10. So yeah, they are my thoughts on Babylon. Uh, what did you think? If you've made it this far into the video, first of all, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Um... What did you think of Babylon? Please let me know below in the comments. Do you disagree or agree with anything I said? And just let's get a discussion going. And uh, if you'd like to watch future reviews from a rambling geek in Wales, then please hit that like button and hit the subscribe. It will mean an awful lot to me. And I'll be seeing you guys soon.